I had a merchant thrown at me earlier. Needless would... to say, the person that threw him, things didn't end well for him. I would never understand this town. Who throws a merchant? Of all the things you could throw. It, it was uh, two yeah, merchants that were bickering stone. back and forth. <laughs> so I then in turn threw a full bucket of water at him and smacked him upside the head with the bucket. <clears throat> a woman can fight. It would have been more, but the guards stopped me. Trust me, I know what she's capable of. I know what she's very capable of. Dare I ask? <sighs> I've been dragged kicking and screaming back to the bathhouse. The beast's way I could say it. Is that a service you offer? Yes, for those that like being dragged. I'll keep that in mind. It costs more the more uh, interesting you want your night. I will keep that in mind. Well, I will not keep the two of you. She's I have business to attend one. to. A pleasure to meet both of you. Oh. Thank you. A pleasure to meet you too. Look Hope to see jobs. you soon. <clears throat> Is any more down the alley? Yeah, it's either down the alley or out the road. Not there, camera. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, stepping on a bit of fabric. Um, there you go. Thieves these days. Desperate times. Yeah, well, it's better when people don't try to be assholes. <sighs> Wouldn't that be easier everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> it would. Make all the jobs much easier. Hey there, Godman. <sighs> How fair are you, Eve? Hope I didn't miss too much excitement. You. Hmm. We're just picking up some of the, uh, the sheets that they left across the ground. On the just leave them. <coughs> Stop him one way or another, that's better than nothing. Hmm. Oh, he's you? No. You're resisting arrest. I, I technically hit him. No, you're resisting your arrest, you're fine. Alright, clearly he doesn't care about the broken leg, and now neither do I. So, let's get him up. Get that leg looked at. <sighs> oh, yeah, let me make this. <laughs> oh. oh, thank God, there he is. Yeah, he's gonna need medical attention immediately. Yeah. Do you have something to like tie his leg up? Actually, you know what? We're probably gonna do more. I don't. <clears throat> I think I'm going to drown myself now. He is interested, but he's waiting for uh, Basil <clears throat> to be about. Out and about. He's going to check his CV. <laughs> There's a lot of weird shit happening today. <clears throat> Wait, Kyla? Nah, not yet. <clears throat> I wanted to get to my little fucking hideout, but I, I rounded the corner and there was like <laughs> eight guards there.
be funny if all this time happening journeys were just dwarves. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. Did you rescue that fish girl? It would be wise not to do that again. We got them already. Oh, gun on you. Well, what are you reprimanding us for? I could tell you what I'm doing. Keeping busy. Hello there. <clears throat> well, it seems like something's happening. Apparently, some people tried to break into the uh, clothier shop. Yes, quite. Seems it was quite handled quite quickly, which is great. <laughs> uh, that has me concerned. What is this? Hmm, we are the guards outside the keep. Hmm. They usually never leave the keep. <clears throat> How was your evening? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Felt like I got a lot of stress off my shoulders, which was good. You look less tense today. Thank you for that. Of course. Yeah. So what do you make Hopefully of Hopefully next time though? you won't leave me alone. I'm so, uh, two beautiful women. Hmm? Oh no. I left you alone to fend through yourself against two women. How dare I? You know, most yeah, people would say thank you. And fourth one, <clears throat> oh, I, th I thanked you, but then, you know, those women are quite dangerous at times, I'm just saying. I was just finished talking to one who said that they have a service where if you pay them, they will drag you kicking and screaming to the bathhouse. Oh, God. So That's if you're haunted. into that kind of thing. That's all. No, thank you. I prefer not to. Maybe Marcus, it's, my compatriot. It's, it's, would horrid, it's horrible. How much? <laughs> I'm quite fucked. <clears throat> <laughs> but, uh, to be honest, if the, if the inner keep guards out, that means best bet is, uh, most likely the barons are doing something. Maybe they're on the move. I yeah, should probably assumption. get off the street then. They don't take too kindly to people like mm, me. If you don't want, it might be wise. All right, I'm going to take a second chat. I'll be right back.
All right. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Formation around him. Oh, good. To the two side. Oh. It's good to see you back. Van, hmm? you may lead the way. You change. All right. Forward, you march. Any idea how many brothers and sisters of ours you've murdered? It's moving. Well, Let's I'll move. This man out of here. I don't know, Keith, how that man was a dwarf. Yeah, no, I think that was the main guy. You too. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh. Oh. I would like to thank you for your help. I love this. I will take my The war is over. Time to celebrate, <laughs> man. Okay. Yeah. Finally, we got the horse back. I believe it. Okay. Smoke to that. For now. <laughs> yeah. For your brave efforts, we both of you. I will send somebody down. Maybe with the wrong bearers. I think you owe very much. I ask for no reward at this time. There is still much to do, and until it is done, then and only then will I collect. Because the blind. I hope you understand. I do. I'm sorry, Molly. I hope you know. I'm glad to know. I don't know if Things are going to change around here, and hopefully for the better. Thank you both again. Oh, I did. Uh, wait, before we were to assume, more cool. If I had to assume it, you surrendered. Uh, right away. Can I take the horse up to one of the guards? Bring the horse. But, uh, I will. It's done. You because your voice is going in and out. You know. The great gambit paid off. What did you two do? I'm going to take you to one of the guards. Really? Like, really? The Baroness ordered us to take her to Adasco. We followed orders, and Adasco surrendered with all of his men. She's alive and well. He's not to be contained. It's really all thanks to Venora's efforts. She wouldn't have been well enough to go. Now the real war begins. I don't believe it was Kovaz, so it must be proven before he makes a move. Celebration of the Arts Festival is more than likely going to turn into, into the end of the war festival. <clears throat> Wish us luck. Probably go to the Imperials. I'm not on good terms having run away from them three times. Now. 
No thing, maybe she'll... Uh, Not surely developed. Maybe things maybe very go to your boat, get something to drink. Water. Water skin, grow water. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> so glad that it all paid off. <sighs> yes, my lord. <sighs> what did you do? I went to go to a check on the Baroness, like I was supposed to, a medical checkup. Everything was going fine with the medical checkup. Uh, she looked like she was recovering really, really well. And then Miss Laudia led into her bit of letting the Baroness know what's going on in her province. Why was Laudia there? And she listened. Because I brought her with me. Why? Because of the information that she had with the help of Sir Exter in getting Adesco Bomain to relinquish peacefully, <clears throat> thus giving not just the army it needs. And so, you won't have to rely on the Took the Baroness the to the Robber Baron. No, she took us. She ordered us. You follow her. <clears throat> Why didn't you she tell is anyone? She the Baroness. I could not. She just told me to keep following her. I didn't have time. You didn't advise against it? I tried and she told me, hush. You will follow me. That is an order. I'm like, yes, my lady. This is her barony. This is her dynasty, not mine. <clears throat> I have to, just like y'all follow the barons, I have to follow my baroness. Mm. We've so had this talk with us. time and time again. I, 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 I know you are smart enough to know what you risked. Do I need to explain it? No. I had faith in my lord. Goodness. It wasn't... The I will go to the keep. I will go and try to find out what's going on above. Pardon me.
What if this had gone wrong, Venora? And, and, and... Ladia shouldn't have been there to begin with. Because of exactly this. She helped us get through the lines we needed her. <laughs> you wouldn't have needed her if you didn't go to begin with. I, I, I just... Why do you play so fast and loose with everything? I need to... Please explain it to me. Why do you go off into the woods without telling people? Why do you go for strolls without telling people? Why do you leave the house or let people in without telling people? Why do you do all of these things when we're trying to protect you and you don't tell us? Why, why are you letting fucking Ladia talk to the Baroness without telling us? If he had turned around I... and fucking just held on to her, that's it for the entire province. And not just the province, me, for Arn. For the entire group here, that's it. No Gwyn, none of that. You understand that, don't you? I understand. Then why? Because I believe I was doing what was right. You and Arn do a lot of things without telling anybody. We're in charge. When y'all do. We are in charge, specifically, by the way, of security in the province. Our Baroness was whisked away under our fucking nose. She was thrown herself away. Now your father will have the men he needs. Yep. Fine. Anything else you need, Venora? No. all this I'm hearing. It's all gone mad. Venora and Ladia took the Baroness to the Robber Baron. He fucking surrendered, now he's up at the keep. Is it, run that past me again. <laughs> Faye took Ladia to see the Baroness. She told the Baroness Everything that's happening in the fucking province. Baroness got on a horse, took those two, rode to the fucking robber baron, and got him to surrender. I just spent the last five minutes trying to understand what the fuck she was thinking! And I came up short. What? Has everyone gone mad? Where is she? I just sent her out when you came in. There's no... There's no talking to her. I don't... I, I told her time and time again to tell us when this shit fucking happens. I said, Venora, you're smart enough to know what would have fucking happened if that went poorly. And she said, I know. I am so sick of her plea. you know? She did it anyway! <laughs> she, 
I'm so sick of her playing fast and loose with all this, and it, it, it works out for her, and so she keeps doing it. I couldn't handle it. I sent her out. I couldn't fucking handle it, Arn. I, I've talked to her five or six times about this exact thing. She nearly fucked everyone today. And she's, she doesn't seem to care. I appreciate that Venora has insight that we do because of her weird fairy fucking magic bullshit. But we, we cannot put everything we understand and know on that. <laughs> that can't be the basis of our thought process. She said, oh, you have the men now. And I said, <laughs> she goes, you and I do things without telling people all the time. And I said, we're in fucking charge. Specifically, of security, and our Baroness was fucking whisked away from underneath us. How does that make us look? Fuck me. <laughs> fucking terrible. Especially when she was the person we were- <sighs> That you put your life on the line for. And Ladia. I- Aunt, I- Maybe. <sighs> oh. No. If I wasn't dealing with something else at the moment, I'd be blindly livid. The only explanation I can give is maybe the Baroness commanded them, in which case they would have to obey. That was what she said. That is our only out. But she wouldn't have been there to begin with. She shouldn't have been in that position. I will say that... A mem requested her to come and do a checkup in a few days' time when she left. But why take Ladia? I agree that we should have gotten a missive or something. I don't know why Ladia was there. <sighs> Moving past the strange thought process so we can disseminate this. What do you mean they got him to surrender? From what I told, when she showed up, he surrendered along with his men. He was in the middle of the street, and he was just arrested by the royal guards and taken to the keep 30 minutes ago. I would have thought you would have been told about this, considering your position. I was told nothing. I've, I've been at the keep the entirety of the time. Isn't that strange? <sighs> Did the brothers know about this? I would hope not. I would hope they wouldn't send their mother to go talk to the robber baron. Then that would mean she left on her own volition. Yes, in response to what Ladia told her. <clears throat> I'm torn. I'm very torn on the fence. And the one... I'm glad this is over. This is exactly what needed to happen. But the way we got here was so fucked up. That's exactly where I am. <sighs> Venora shouldn't have had Ladia there. Ladia shouldn't have fucking told her everything, and the Baroness should have done it under a, a, a delegation, or had people, someone there to protect her if shit went south, or anything. How are all of these people so guided by their fucking hearts, or... or... <laughs> think that if they do the right thing, they'll get the right thing outcome from... If this had gone south... <laughs> Yes, I know, we would have lost a diplomat, again, which likely wouldn't have mattered to the Imperium any longer, but we would have lost the fucking Baroness, which could have ground everything to a halt and they would have been able to sue for peace and their terms. Yeah. You don't understand how badly this has fucked us. I have an inkling. 
I was relying on this to be the, the culmination of our efforts. To attach our name to this, so we secure ourselves from being able to be abducted by the Imperium, and to get ourselves a foundation of what is owed to us. And all of this struggle, I won't even say we, everything that I have done to this point, all the meticulous fucking planning, and the politicking, and the fucking backstabbing, and the lying, and the beguiling, and starving and fighting for two weeks away from my family. I was relying on this. Preaching to the fucking choir, on. That was my main thing with her, is that we didn't know. If we had known, we could have... <laughs> Maybe it happened so fast they couldn't do anything. I want to... Devil's advocate, I want to believe that there was no other choice. But even... Hey, I'm gonna take Lydia to the Baroness so she can tell her about that. We could have been like, that's a fucking terrible idea. <laughs> but no, she didn't. She, she didn't even get that far. Fuck, even, even the Imperium could spin this as a win for their favor. Their diplomat was there. That's exactly what they're going to do, Kyla. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying. <sighs> well, I guess... Ladia Heidemann has... at the expense of her allies cemented herself without any risk. They're both elves. How can they be so short-sighted? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to come up with something else. I'm running out of ideas. Running out of room to move. <clears throat> what room? Yeah. <sighs> well. I'm sure I need to go do damage control. Please keep me in the loop. Yeah. I'll fill you in all the smaller stuff later. You got your own things to handle. I'm trying to organize this delegation to go to Basra, get some carts, and perhaps a small security detail. I might be able to pass the buck I'm paying for it by bringing Nolzus and Dredge. Yeah. You know, everyone scoffs when the word honor is brought up. <sighs> Things would be so much simpler if everyone had a backbone and a brain. <laughs> I'm gonna get that tattooed on my forehead.
<clears throat> Man, Kyle got spicy there for a bit. This is going to be a battle from all the way at the crags. It's going to come to our walls. Mark my words. Then press that to the barony that we need to start working on the matter as soon as possible. Let it be led by you. What do you think I've been doing, Major? Do it now. The Baroness is up and about. Baroness may not even trust me because of my dealings with her son. I'm heading up to the keep as we speak, but I don't have high hopes for this. <laughs> Someone else company. Is fucking strings. I'm sure it would look good for the Imperial Major and the Marshal to make a good appearance. Yeah, so as long as we can figure out what we say to them. Will say to the brothers when they ask why the fucking apothecary and the fucking diplomat when wandering off skipping down with the fucking baroness what are they going to say to either of us that's your charge and i'm in charge of security take a look at this we both for my service simple as that she acted out of line again after i told her not to sure it might have been good you... for the province but look what that's got in us are you able to do that? Because the last you told me, she was put in a position by an Inquisitor. It's good to have friends in high places, then. I hope you're right. Shall we? Yeah. We shall. It's the best we can do right now. Damage control. Lord. <clears throat> Sergeant. I hope I'm not disturbing anything. No. <clears throat> Just politics. I'm sure you understand. Of course. Is it, is it me or is there like a really is there a really unseen tension between those two?
You know, uh, hey, you know what that's about. Punch. Uh, no. He's right there, oh. though. You can ask him in oh, person. No, the, the, the not, other lord. not the other one. Well, well, I can probably guess what it's about, to be honest. Oh. My lord. Ah. Okay. You're to... Ah. Join me? <clears throat> Do we? He'd like to help. There's a pile of tiles. Cleaning up some graves. Matthias does it a lot, but I like to I keep them extra clean. Oh my lord, I have training with some of the guardsmen. I'll leave you to your business. Damn it, Heidemann! The edge should support your weight. You know what, then I. <sighs> Never good. So bad, okay. I. Uh, okay. So many people running around. Yeah, people are just. I have no idea how she got them lost, but all right. I mean, she has no idea what she's done. I keep saying end of the world, end of the war. <laughs> oh. Well. If you're comfortable with telling me, maybe let out some steam. <clears throat> they can, uh, you know, have somebody to talk to. Not much to say. Mm, not she... much to say. Well, your father ran by calling her a naive girl, because that's who I'm assuming he was talking about. Correct. So this must have to do with her coming in with the Baroness and Adasco and Miss Venora. Correct. Mm. She's really fucked us again. Aye. Interesting. Do you mind explaining how? <clears throat> I don't... Venora took her to the Baroness for some reason. Mm -hmm. While she was there, Claudia told the Baroness about everything that's happening in the province, including the Robber Baron. The Baroness uh -huh. then rode out with them, no security, no armed guards, under no flags, to talk to the Robber Baron. Oh, I see. If that had gone poorly, Basil. That would have been very bad. It's already very, bad that it went bad. right. Because now... My father and I, who are the heads of security, had no idea about this, and we look like fucking idiots. Oh, and now now you're that going the to Baroness got swiped out from under our fucking noses. And, on top of that, because Ladi was there, the Imperial Diplomat, the Imperium is going to spin it like they solved the war. Now my father and I have no fucking weight at all to do anything in this fucking town. She fucking shackled us by doing what she did. She has the goal to run around saying, it's over, it's over. I'm sorry. That's just the tip of it, but I won't get into details. No need to go the long way. Easier to cut through. Wow. Well. I'm very sorry <clears throat> that this is how all of that had to go. Han and I have been spilling blood, mostly our own, for the last few months since we've been here, trying to position ourselves correctly. And she has made all of that pointless. Han starved in an embassy. One, because she got herself captured. And that doesn't mean shit anymore, because she played fast and loose again. I 
I... I gave orders knowing that good men were going to die. I fought and, and fought for this and it means fucking nothing now because of what she has done. I would have uh, some wisdom, as you know. Sometimes I will say or spew something, but this is unfortunately not my expertise. Political things here and there. Sure, I've been into my fair share of parties. I understand bits and pieces. But... Yes, it does seem that she has messed things up for you and your father. And Venora, fuck. I've had the conversation with her to tell us before she does things. Five or six times. And she didn't tell you? She never does. She keeps doing Sounds it because like it someone works I know. out okay. Soma does the same thing every single time. <clears throat> Soma will just go on his way and hope that everything is fine because if he's there, he will stay alive. Fortunately, he's really bad at telling people when he's going anywhere. Very bad at it. He told you this time though, right? Like, yes. And I had to be the one to tell the Imperium where he was going. Because he made a deal with them, which was not so fun. If he wants to be able to go home to see me, he has to tell them where he's going. If he leaves the province. And he didn't. But he remembered <clears throat> to tell me this time. I suppose that's something. It's something, but I had to go ahead and talk to his major Dario. Pleasant fellow. And also the Inquisitor, and I'm very glad it wasn't Victor, because that man scares me so badly. Rightfully so. I feel like throwing up every time I see him. Rightfully so. It seems most of the sand that was over here in dirt has already started going away. Matthias has been trying to put fresh dirt here all the time just to keep him down. You don't want to algae to grow on these. <clears throat> it's gonna be nearly impossible to get the Imperials out of Nautis now. Hmm. Neither of them Though, died for an Imperial Nautis. The Baron Mass did make it very public that she's the one that brought him in. Hopefully, they don't spin it. <clears throat> they will. But. Well, I can try any little hope, maybe. Yeah. Sorry for being so negative about it. No, 
you are rightfully allowed to be negative about it. What happened is messing with you and your father. We bleed so much for these people, Basil. Even even outside of the the realm of being a lord, we just look after our friends. And they fuck us over at the first chance they get if it means that they get ahead. You should know this as much as anyone. That the people here who actually see what you all are doing really do appreciate it. Unfortunately, it's old, old blood here in Gradia. They, they have a terrible, terrible way of showing it all. And they always have. Always have. I'm not asking for a medal or a fucking birthday cake, Basil. I just want people to think about what they're doing. Anna and I stand, along with everyone, on the edge of the fucking abyss, and we are desperately trying to stop people from throwing themselves off and taking everyone with them, but they fight us at every fucking chance. They fight you... because... they don't want you to be right. What you're doing with them, what you're trying to do and help. <laughs> they don't want you for that, you know. It's it's why it's why people hate doctors sometimes <clears throat> when they tell them that they're sick. They don't want that. They don't want to be known as the sick person. You and your father are doing wonders for this place that isn't even where you were born and raised. Don't be so hard on yourself just because of other people's mistakes. You are trying. Know that. Know that you are trying. And I appreciate everything that you and your father have been doing. Thank you, Basil. You're welcome. Now, we have one more grave to clean. And she gets extra, extra attention. Now, if you want, there are some Gradian ghost peppers growing up the side. <clears throat> hmm. Tempting, but I might pass. I know this is hard for you too, but thank you for coming out here with me. Yeah, that's the least I could do. You know, I come out here every single day 
Even if it doesn't need to, I come out here and I wash it to make sure that no dirt gets onto us. Not as much, anyways. Huh. For the war, I used to come out here and sit and write. Then everything went bad and I wasn't allowed to leave the city. Things can still be bad, but regardless of the war is over or not, that's why I refuse to give everyone free drinks at the tavern. You know what comes next, right? Because just because we have him, uh, probably a public trial, he's gonna probably either be executed or something else. He'll most likely be executed. And more news will come to light that I am not looking forward to. Yes, the Vapex will invade, most likely. That too. But I'm so glad Lottie is <sighs> running around saying, It's over, it's over. Don what's right, she is naive. <laughs> so is Venora. To water her flowers. <clears throat> it's tough. Being a leader of something and losing people that you love. Yeah, it is. But it's also tough for you, your father. Because sometimes the people that you care about can be idiots. Sometimes? And you have to deal with that too. <laughs> I'm giving them benefit for that to be dealt, you know, just a little bit. Your optimism is inspiring. <clears throat> I am trying to stay as optimistic as possible. Otherwise, I sound very pessimistic, and you would not like me that way. Very sad. Sounds like you're describing me. Mm. You know, I was told I had very bad survivor's guilt out here. I could see that. Mm. I can too. Too many people have died in front of me and I could have stopped it. I tried to. I wish I could tell you it gets better. I know it doesn't. The way someone described it to me. Trust me. Is. Hmm. The burden doesn't get lighter, your legs just get stronger. I like that saying. Yeah. Actually. It's a good one. Now, the person who told you that, is that your father? No, actually. I was going to say wise words from a wise man, but if it wasn't from him, I wonder who it was from. On has a lot of the wise words. It upsets me because when he's upset about something and I try and give him wise words, he always has something back in return. You'll find the flaw in it. He's much <laughs> better with talking than I am. <laughs> always been the way. You may be older than him from what I can tell. Doesn't mean that you're wiser in years. Well, that makes sense. My childhood was also shot to shit, so. It doesn't matter what you're 
I'm still quite young, mm. like, you know, mentally, I guess. <laughs> Let me go to doing any of the kids' stuff. That. Yeah. Anyway. I think I was... I didn't really get to do any of that fun kid stuff either. <laughs> Two peas in the pod. Is that the uh, the man that left you the sandals and chat everywhere? I'm on my way. Time to vamoose. You have a great day. Here, take this bucket as protection. Move that ladder. <laughs> I mean, if we move it, he's just going to fall. I know what I said. From what I've seen, their main focus has been actually building up the walls of the province. Oh, there he is. Kyler, Lord. I want to ask you a question. What do you need? We're going to be going uh, to make a delivery out to the Hobbit village. And then coming back. Since the wagon's going to be empty coming back, Tang could help us in filling it with some of the out at our home in the woods has a pile of stone and wood they've been harvesting for quite a while. Would that do you any good? It would certainly help. Just be careful of orcs. Yes, sir. Well. <clears throat> Hello, Basil. I'm fucking pissed off with Lavia <laughs> and fucking Venora. Wouldn't you like to have that conversation again? Can you find the map? Muy bien, very good. Estoy aquí, me hablo Sevatar. ¿Cómo está?
Oh shit, building supplies. There's something for me. Where are you? What the fuck? Oh? Um, good evening, <laughs> I suppose? Hey Basil, he's here. I suppose I'm not <laughs> interrupting something, am I? No, not at all. I was, I, I put up the, the thing just to let you know that I had food and if you needed me for anything. And uh, sure enough, you just show up. You always come when you call me. Actual surprise. I should have just screamed at the top and said, Seveta, and you probably would have been here faster. I would have appeared in a puff of smoke. What are your other wishes? <laughs> ah, to enjoy some meals that I left by, because you don't seem to come back here during the night. I have some good food up there. Shall we? I have some things I'd like to talk to you about. You are hanging around a lot. You probably have something to say. Hmm. Well, uh, for me, most of the stuff you've asked me to look into, people have been keeping their mouths quiet. Fucking fantastic. I haven't talked to our boys in, our boys in Cassetto since I told them, but I intend to head out there tomorrow morning. See if you can figure out why people are fucking disappearing. Because that is something that is happening, apparently. Yes, I was trying to oh, talk really? to... I was trying to talk to Marco, but he's eluded me today so far. Hmm. Mm. We have fun with him. Oh, that's right. I nearly forgot. And, of course... About your history. You are Sarah yeah, and the man no, now. Yeah, no, and that is all... Hmm, I used to be so very sweet on him. Make sure <clears throat> that you didn't kill him when I sent I him remember. this way, you know? Yes. Yeah, now I wouldn't mind if you took a finger or two. The lady wants a finger. <laughs> Dang. Who am I to deny? He... He, pull, he pulls me in for questioning about the murder that he blames me for, or the guards around him blamed me for. Great, this is the bathhouse all over again. Wonderful. Did you murder? And someone? then he also talks about the silver. No. It's okay if you no, did. No, this, this was this was the uh, the Sarkozy guards. Oh, that was a while ago. Hmm. He pulls me in there. And he he questions me. And and then he says that uh, afterwards, because he pulls me up there again for, about my taxes. And a few other things he says if I, if I don't pay if I don't pay five silver for being out of the walls and taxes and all these other things he's going to sell me into slavery instantly <sighs> only give me a single day to get all the money this is a shift from how he usually talks about you probably because he's it's probably because of uh I've been hanging around a, uh, a drow by the name of Tiberius, and apparently everyone got the wrong idea. So maybe he's sour about that, I don't know. Or maybe he just doesn't well, like me anymore. Why is he sour about that, but not sour about your literal, literal husband? I figured that would be the thing. Because he's the one that told me to get with him. <laughs> Wait, he threw mm. you into the arms of another man? Yes, he broke my heart. He told me, you'll have a better life with a surgeon. Let's not forget where he came from. Mm. He's only in the position he is in now because you asked me not to fucking kill him. Mm. So he should be thanking you, really. Anyway... <clears throat> Uh, we'll start with you. You said everything everyone you were trying to talk to has kept their fucking mouth shut. At least with the guards I have an in, a few ins with, they've not said much of anything of what I was trying to talk to Marco because I figured maybe I could get him to be a little bit more loose-lipped about it, but mm. so far I've only seen him once today and he went up to the keep and I haven't seen him since. You might try to set you up with someone. Considering what has happened, 
today. I think they'll be busy for the rest of the day. Yes, I heard about that. The fucking war is over, so we can't really profit of that anymore. Unfortunate. I saw the, the older Lord Erdhart and the, the Major walking down the street. They both looked extremely annoyed for some reason. I couldn't quite figure it out. Well, the way that Ladia was celebrating was probably another clandestine operation by her, only this time she didn't get fucking, fucking kidnapped. So there's that. The, the Imperium's wayward diplomat again. <laughs> they should honestly chain her by now. A chain long enough to reach the edge of not this, and that's it. But, uh, yeah. I digress. Uh, Basil, I did want to talk to you about something. Okay. <clears throat> We're wanting to get eyes back in the uh, bathhouse again, since you are no longer there and you're more focusing on the tavern. You told me that you are still in talks with a few of the ladies there. I was talking to one of them the other night, and they said well, they seem to have a uh, a knack for the kind of business we're in. I wanted to get your opinion on them. A uh, mm. Checking their resume, so to speak. Okay, and who is it? Uh, I believe her name is Ari. Ah. Ari. White hair. Ari. Yes, dark, dark skin, white hair, mm. smokes a lot. Mm -hmm. So. I do know a bit about Ari actually. When she showed up, it was just. Walked right into town, went straight to the bathhouse. Um, no one really knows or has ever recognized her before around here. Let's see. She seems to be very skilled at making people relax and just talk. That you know, kind of the thing that I used to do. Mm -hmm. Often <clears throat> lowering awareness or defenses. Mm hmm. But they are very, very defensive and closed off about their personal life. So any personal questions you ask about them, they will be very shut off. Well, I suppose we can't blame people in a secret organization for having secrets, no? Hmm. Though I should probably... It's true, but sometimes being an open book... <laughs>